20 to 45 percent of high school students have experienced some form of physical, emotional, or sexual violence by a dating partner. Nearly half of the worst incidents they experience occur at school. FISA Foundation presents Expect Respect by the Consortium for Public Education and Women's Place. Women's Place has always provided lessons on teen dating violence. With our partnership with the Consortium, we've been able to really expand that. So when you take their knowledge of the educational system and how to integrate a social service program into the school, it tends to work a lot better. Together we developed a program that was appropriate for schools to be able to integrate ideas of teen dating violence in the core subject areas and really embed it into the school day. Can you talk a little bit about what you talked about with those students and what their reaction was? Expect Respect is a teen dating violence prevention and intervention program and it focuses on several different components. One of them is teen leadership, um, which empowers the students to take a stand against dating violence. You guys have so much power when it comes to influencing parents. We started just like slowly but surely raising awareness through our school and we have like 20 to 25 members in our group now. It helps students more aware of what the signs of an abusive relationship is and where they're able to go if they are in an abusive relationship or if they know someone that is in an abusive relationship. It helps them know like where to go and who to talk to. I think I'm making a difference in the school, yes. We had plenty of instances where kids came to us with, they wanted advice basically, saying what should I do? or is this right or is this wrong? They're aware of the red flags. They're, they see things that are going on around them. To know that what you're saying aren't just words. It's not just playing around. Does anyone think that she should have gave in just because he said she loved him? Another part of Expect Respect is the support group and counseling part of the program. And this is for students that are at risk of becoming involved in a dating violence situation or that have already found themselves in an abusive relationship. We provide the, the counseling gender separate to both males and females. It's really important that we reach both male and female students so that we're addressing the problem from all sides. When you expect respect, there is always a cause and effect. We were able to get some of our male athletes that play football as role models and help make male students aware. It is going to show how dating violence can escalate from texting to physical... As a part of our prevention component, we are asking schools to really integrate policy that addresses teen dating violence. We've asked the schools to look at their sexual harassment and their fighting policies and integrate language that relates to teen dating violence. Tonight we have like all them come Before Expect Respect was just um, just a group in our school that people could come to and kind of join and we would work on projects together but now Expect Respect is um, recognized by our school board and our school administration as a school-wide organization. We want to change students attitudes so that they know not to be a bystander, to not stand by while their friends or their peers are making comments that contribute to a culture that promotes dating violence. Um, we want students to know who to go to, who they can talk to, and we want them to be able to stand up and speak out. Domestic violence isn't a personal issue. It's a community issue and needs to be addressed at the community level. Expect Respect does that. We are so proud to support Expect Respect by the Consortium for Public Education and Women's Place. FISA Foundation awards grants to nonprofit organizations in southwestern Pennsylvania. Celebrating 100 years of improving the lives of women, girls, and people with disabilities. For more information, go to www.fisafoundation.org.